And we begin at first at three at this hour as we are watching live footage from the unicameral down in Lincoln as state senators are debating the final reading of LB 574. This is the bill that would ban gender affirming care for minors and ban all abortions after 12 weeks with a few exceptions. In the past 24 hours, more than 1,200 medical professionals signed a letter asking senators not to pass the bill today. Six News has also learned that 100 businesses have also signed another letter asking senators to not pass the bill. Here's what's at stake in the coming hours. If the bill passes, it would ban gender affirming surgery for minors under 19 beginning October 1st. A chief medical officer would decide the rules for puberty blockers and hormone therapy for those under the age of 19. Then the amendment would ban abortion after 12 weeks of pregnancy, except for a few exceptions like rape and incest. Uh, that would go into effect, though, the second Governor Jim Pillen signed the bill, which he could do at any time if the legislators pass it. Of course, this is a very contentious and controversial bill, and tempers did flare up literally just a few minutes ago. Want to show you video of the disturbance inside the chamber. A protester from the balcony interrupted the bill's sponsor right here, Kathleen, uh, Kathleen Kauth. Moments later, you could see what appears to be feminine hygiene products being thrown speaker towards her. The speaker immediately called for a recess. Let's go now back to the live feed from inside the unicameral where the filibuster is continuing. It started just before 2 o'clock. They have about two hours to filibuster before a, uh, it could go to a vote. So the key time we are watching right now is sometime around the 4 o'clock hour. Let's just listen in here for a brief second because they have since cleared the chambers because uh, I should say they have cleared the balcony because of that protest. However, they are out in the rotunda right now. Let's see if we can hear some of the protesters from Removal the rotunda. Removal of fetal tissue after the baby has passed is not now nor ever has been an abortion. A successful abortion is defined as one where the baby dies, period. Okay, if you listen closely, you can hear them faintly in the background. It is our understanding the boisterous protesters out in the rotunda are the ones against the passage of this bill. We are, of course, going to continue to monitor the filibuster and everything going on in Lincoln at this hour. We are going to attempt to bring you the very all-important cloture vote when that happens. Again, it's going to happen just after 4 o'clock because they had to take a brief recess to clear the balcony at the unicameral. So right now it's trending towards sometimes around 4.05, 4.10 maybe even 415. That is if there are no more disruptions. So we will continue to monitor the situation for you here throughout the hour on first at three. Let's